guys you probably don't know this but i teach fitness classes i am going on 10 months um pregnant you know technically you're pregnant for 10 months and i am still teaching i've been teaching my whole pregnancy this is me after class today was hip-hop and then i teach two bar classes i wanted to introduce youtube to that side of me because not only am i a dietitian i'm a fitness instructor and i love it so i just got done teaching an hour class and the heat here keeps going on and off like it's broken so i like sweat i got um sunscreen everything just sweat it down but it feels good as you can see hi hi I'm, I'm out there but i love it but i had to show this side for you guys so this is my second class that i teach this is bar class my bar here and my bar here i love this class this is um, a fun group all ages mostly older but still a great group i am 37 weeks pregnant today and it feels so good teaching finish teaching this is my bar class this is my third class um during the week and so and i had a doctor's appointment today no contractions no nothing he heartbeat was great pregnancy knows is pregnant hopefully that we're gonna go on a, we'll be on spring break not me but the class will so hopefully when i come back maybe he'll be here maybe not but this is my third class so this is what i do guys um is the three fitness classes and then i am on maternity leave for my private practice but yeah this is such a great thing i wanted to bring you guys with me this week so you can see what i do how i stay active it is resurrection sunday and hubby and i are going to cook for those of you who don't follow me on like tiktok and instagram you don't know that i cook all the time and um before i have a baby we really want to celebrate just overall us so we're going to do a big easter it just us here it probably will grill enough for the week as again going into maternity leave so i'm gonna grill not husband hubby's gonna grill hot dogs um grilled chicken i'm gonna make a jerk sauce for the grilled chicken i'm gonna make a salad devil eggs and baked beans so come along with me guys make your double eggs i just wanted to keep it simple um i'm using duke's mayo i just moved down south and everyone says that's the best and i like to use the light option that has olive oil in it as you know as a dietitian um i like to make small changes to still keep the flavor but make it taste good and i was struggling to get this uh mayo out um i don't really measure when making double eggs do you guys measure i feel like it's just one of those things you just know a little bit of mustard not too much i would totally go in a lot more but my husband does not like mustard I love the mustard taste and same with relish a little bit of relish I don't like relish but it just needs to go into double eggs I don't like to let that shake um, and then I want to add a little bit more mayo again because I want to make sure we get out um, don't want to make it too mustardy for my husband so for seasonings I keep it pretty basic I love this um, smoked paprika you can't go wrong with smoked paprika Rika, and it's from Trader Joe's and it has like a little spice in it um, garlic powder and onion powder uh, black pepper and then reduced sodium adobo yeah, that's what I'm grabbing right there um, you don't really need to add too much salt to double eggs because we're already mayo um, and that's my black pepper it was it was not coming out I had to <laughs> go refill it um, the mayo and the mustard both are low sodium but they already have a sodium you guys I was trying to film and make this at the same time as you can see i spilled the paprika it looks a mess but it tastes so good <laughs> um and i like to so uh, my husband was outside grilling so i like to make this first and then chill um the double eggs
okay for the baked beans i don't know have you guys seen where people add like bacon and beef and, and veggies and all these things to the baked beans i wanted to do something a little bit simpler or similar but i wanted to again be like my belly in the camera i wanted to be mindful of um just the sodium and adding things so i just did the baked beans i used the canned beans so i already have salt um so i just did garlic powder onion powder and i added a little bit of mustard and then I end up not doing the ketchup because I use a, uh, what did I use? A baked bean that already had um, some honey or some sweetness in it. And the ketchup would have added more sugar. So I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't need to add all that. So that's all I added. And then to add more fiber and nutrients, I end up just doing some green bell peppers and some chives. I'm so mad because I really wanted to do um a white onion and we were out of white onions it's like oh my gosh no we're just at the grocery store but it's still like it ended up turning out really good one tip that i always say is like if you can add vegetables to it add vegetables to it what's that going to do is going to add more nutrients so our vitamins minerals things like that but also adds a little bit more fiber so it keeps you full now beans already have a great source of fiber and so you're more likely to eat less. So instead of adding the bacon, um, the beef, and there's nothing wrong with that, that would have just been, this. these baked beans are supposed to be sides. Like that would have just been a little too much. So I just added the veggies and y'all, when I say, like my husband ate this up, it ended up being really, really good um, in the end. So I just added these things all into the pan and I just let it bake. Um, until it kind of boiled. I didn't really, I put it in the oven for 350. I just kind of watched it, I didn't really time it. But it, it, again, the beans are already done, so it's just really more of like warming it up. It really took about 15 minutes. Um, and then it makes the bell peppers soft. So I wanted to make sure that I got all that in. And I also made a bacon, a spinach bacon vinaigrette salad. And then we end up having grilled um, for the week. So we didn't eat all this at once. Grilled chicken wings, grilled chicken thighs, and grilled hot dogs. So that was enough for my husband's lunch, enough for us to have dinner for two days, and then my lunch as well. So that was, when we grill, we try to grill a lot of meats at once so that way we can have it for a week um, and prep it. Now, don't be mad. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> film our plate and the rest of the grilled food. Um, so you'll just see me kind of prepping um, throughout the end and my belly popping in and out. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys want to see next.